Hi all, so today we are starting our second class of Python basics. Today we are going to study functions. Uh, what is a function? As you all know, it has an input and it gives the desired output. Uh, let us see. Let us see an example of functions. So here we have a function called myprint. This function takes as input, this is the input, x, and what is the output? It may return some output or it may do some action. So this one does an action. What is that? It prints whatever you have passed as input. Okay, so let's see an example of using this function now. We defined it on the in the above block. Now when we use it, I say x is equal to 2. And when I pass that x to my function, my print, it returns. Uh, it, so I pass x and then it, it, it does the action, which is printing the value of x. Okay, let's see another example of another function. So this function is finding the larger number out of the two numbers. So the input is A and B, which are two numbers. Uh, and what operation we are doing, we are saying if A is larger than B, then save the value of A in a variable C, which we are returning finally. And so if B is larger than A, then save the value of b and return that value so so this is the syntax how we define a function this is how we return a value and let's see now how to use it so i say find larger okay let's say 4 comma 5 and when i run it it says 5 and if i say 14 comma 5 when I run it, it says 14. So in this way, uh, it can tell me what exactly uh, uh, I want to do. So we saw the example of two functions. Uh, one function in the last example did some action and this function uh, returns a value. It can do both things also. I can say here print C. So it will do an action as well as return a value. Next. Uh, Another example of a function, uh, this does an action as well as return a value. So what it does, even or odd, uh, so this function finds out whether x is an even number or an odd number. How do we do? We divide by 2 and we find out the remainder. So this function is for remainder. And if the remainder is, uh, if, the, if the remainder is zero, then we say it is an even function. Yeah, otherwise it is an odd function. And we are also returning a value, which is x plus two, an arbitrary value, but that's how we do it. Okay, now, if I do it for any, Any, any value, it will say odd. Uh, so it prints that this is an odd number and it returns the value 47, which is x plus 2. So since I am printing it here, so it is printing, otherwise it won't print necessarily. So this function does, the, does an action and also returns a value. Let's see another example. Okay. So this is just a repetition of the previous function which we defined, find larger. Okay, now this function does something more. Add an item, okay. Now this actually is an example that how functions can be useful in practical applications. For example, if I'm preparing a list of items, so as a dictionary, you remember from the last video, we defined a dictionary which contains different items and their quantities. So if it does not, if that item is not there on the in the basket, the dictionary basket already, then we add that item 
uh, one item otherwise if it is already there we increment it by one let us see an example so how do we first uh, write the function so we have add item so we say uh, you add this item uh, to, sorry this is the dictionary to which we want to add this is the key this is the value the key is the item name which we want to add and value is the quantity how many of those we want to add uh, now I have to check whether this thing exists in the basket already or not this this is the basket so if the key is already existing in a then you just increment by value Otherwise, which means if it does not exist, then you create a new entry in the basket of the name key and set the value to whatever we have passed. Then print A, the basket, and then return A, which is the final basket. Let us see now how to use this function. Okay, I define my A, my basket, 8 apples, 5 carrots. Now I add an item, banana. Uh, how many bananas? 5. Previously it is not there, so I will just, when this, when the function I, I say add item, it prints apple is 8, carrots 5, banana 5. Then I add 3 guavas, and this is what I get. Then I add a watermelon and this is what I get. Print A. Let us do something interesting here. Instead of adding watermelon, I can say add another banana. And I don't want to print A because... Okay. Uh, let's run this one. So what do you get? So you get bananas are uh, after the whole exercise i should get six bananas and that's what i'm getting here six bananas now an interesting thing to notice is uh, i have an a this add item it returns a but it also modifies whatever i had passed the dictionary has a property that it is passed by call by reference not call by value which means i'm passing a to the function function is modifying the basket itself uh, it is not i'll give you an example uh, we saw in the previous functions let's see this function so this one returns so i pass some variable x it modifies x let us say it modifies x and it returns whatever was passed. Now I print this. Okay, let me do it like this. I say x is equal to 45, add even, uh, even or odd x. Okay, so it will return whatever it is and I say print x let me remove this part so what do you expect now what so when I pass x equal to 45 it goes here whatever it is it is an odd number so this will be printed then I am incrementing 2 to x and returning x so when I return x it is not saved anywhere and now what will be the value of x after this whole exercise so uh, since x is an integer here uh, so let's see what the value comes out to be yes it says x is an odd number and this one returns 47 but when i print x the value of x is not changed it means inside this function this modification does not change the value of x because this is called call by call by value 
I'm just passing on the value of x, not the variable x. On the other hand, in this example, when I pass a dictionary or a numpy array or uh, basically uh, uh, if I pass a pointer, uh, which means a dictionary or a, uh, let's say in this case, we have, we have not seen numpy arrays yet, so let me not uh, confuse you by that. So this is called call by reference. So because I'm passing the pointer A uh, to my basket and the basket itself is modified by the function. So we have to be careful. This is a common mistake which people make. They do not apprehend that passing a dictionary to this to any function and if you modify the dictionary there it actually gets modified even outside that function so but if you pass integers or so, some some kinds of data types they do not get modified uh, inside the function uh, means their the, the, the changes are not uh, seen outside the function okay now let us look at another uh, structure so now it is many a times uh, useful to have a basket and the basket also can gives you some useful functions uh, not just the items but also some functions which you can uh, uh, which you can apply so that kind of basket or that kind of structure is called a class for example, a class can contain so many kinds of variables, data types, everything. It can also contain so many functions to which will operate on those data types. For example, create a shopping list and that uh, object or that class should have uh, items like uh, the dictionary and whatever you want and it should also give you capacity to add and subtract items basically it will give you functions to add items subtract items print the names of items print their quantities whatever you want it provides you not just with the uh, those items but also functions to do different operations on those items that is called a class it is a very useful concept let us see an example so this is a shopping list class class shopping list um, I'm defining so when you initialize it I'll tell you what is the meaning of initialization so basically when you create so imagine class is a kind of basket and when I uh, so this is the template and I can create so many baskets with this template one basket could be my shopping list for Amazon one basket could be my shopping list for the local market one basket could be my shopping list for my lab accessories so I can make so many kinds of shopping lists but each list has uh, functions and uh, provision to have items there so in this case I'm initializing let's say I want to create a new shopping list uh, uh, for Vipul uh, similarly somebody can create a shopping list for Manoj somebody shopping list for Vinay so like that different people can create their own shopping lists but the same class can be used by all of them so that is the class which is the concept which is used by everybody and then you have instances of that class like one shopping list for amazon one shopping list for Vipul, one shopping list for vinay one shopping list for ravi so uh, this is the way we do uh, classes and instances of the classes which means the actual baskets or actual objects so the class is the template so what is the what is inside the class whenever i create an object automatically one item is created or one list is created which is empty empty list is created and now it gives me provision a function to add an item so what is what does it mean add an item to so self means this function operates on the same object means on the same instance of the class you will understand this when we see examples key and value I want to add bananas how many five so that is the thing uh, so 
same thing if key is only there then you increment it if the key is not there then you just make the uh, make the thing uh, make the uh, add that item to the list then subtract item let's say if you want to remove the values so let's say you have to you decrement let's say instead of five bananas now i want just two bananas so i have to reduce by three so if i make my pal three and i say reduce three bananas then it will do it I, if the it is there in the then and then remove item if i want to remove an item altogether i don't want any bananas i just say remove banana from my object it will do it delete that uh, from the list uh, delete this key which is banana then print the list i want to print my shopping list i will just say print self dot list dict list dict is this thing which i created the dictionary in the beginning now let us see how to use this class okay i created my shopping list called sl1 or shopping list 1 or it could mean shopping list of vipul it could mean shopping list for amazon so this is my one shopping list by me so this is i want now add item to my shopping list how many bananas 12 bananas then add item how many banana apples six apples and then print the list this is what it prints 12 bananas six apples then i say subtract item i don't want 12 bananas but i want seven bananas only so i reduce i did subtract five bananas and then i say print list what does it print print seven bananas six apples then i say remove item apple i don't want apples all together i don't want any apple then if i print my list what do i get bananas seven only no apples okay so this is how i can also create another shopping list sl2 shopping list 2 is equal to shopping list and i can say sl2 dot add item uh i want to buy notebooks how many 12 notebooks and i say sl2 dot print list See, this is now my SL two. So now SL one and SL two are two different objects. SL two are two instances of the class shopping list. Hmm. Yeah. So this is the concept. that's it so the, if you understand this part you are pretty much good to go uh, with functions and classes thank you very much